on this week's episode of what I do when I should be working, uh, what grows in our summer garden, how much stuff I've bought and realised I need more, and look at all the rust. <laughs> so stick around and we'll run through where we are in the noble. We'll show you some tips and tricks of not, not to do on nobles, but just smash the like and subscribe button for us. Give it the thumbs up and it will keep you up to date on how badly this is going. And we're back. Davois. I've made a summer garden <laughs> so we can grow herbs and spices to sustain us through the winter. Let's just have a little look at that. It's a lot of mud, mate. <laughs> Oh dear. But the good thing is it has absorbed, absorbed all the fluids that have tried to leak out of it. So yeah, great fun. You've been very busy then. Uh, I haven't, I, yeah, this, I haven't enjoyed this. Yeah. So far, anyway. It's all right, it's a part now. It can only get better. That's it, positive thinking. Getting that radiator guard out, the radiator, you, you'll have to have a look now. Oh my God, that is like, Hang on, let's just have a quick... Everything is rusty. Right, I won't pick you up on the volume over here. So the guide plates come up the side, right? Obviously we've got all the suspension stripped that side. Three of the bolts that hold that plate in up to the bulkhead are behind uh, the suspension mount. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. Then you can see that side's twisted in. So it's got a kink in it. Oh yeah. This side's is snapped the cross braces off completely. Um, you stood on the pile of zip ties. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Um, I mean, mate, how many more have we take cut off? Yeah, that's just a small handful, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get the bulkhead. I'm going to get it completely back to bare bulkhead. Rack out, because we've got to weld a new frame. Sorry, in, right? did you say rack out? Rack out. Where's, uh, where's Lucy Pinder when you need her? <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you look here, look, if you look down the line of the floor, down the line of the flat floor, you can see the kink on the lower rail. Yep. So we've got a new new front bracket come in. This thing. I washed my hand there, don't want to touch it again. Uh, we've got a new one of those come in. Uh, so we'll weld that on. I've got a box of goodies. I'm going to continue taking, I'm going to prop this side off and I'm going to strip the whole front end suspension off a lot. I've got a new um, upright. So we'll go through that in a minute. I'm going to strip the whole front end, weld a new bracket on and just start again because it's held together with posi drives. So I'm gonna do some bits that make me feel better because it's the oil cooler. There's a Mokul oil cooler for the steering. The hoses are corroded, the, like you can't turn a swivel ends. Um, the condenser looks like it's just being used as a gravel scoop. So I get a new one of those, but like even down to the fittings, like they're just, so hopefully we can save some of these hoses yeah yeah i'll we, put new brake hoses on it looking at it there that looks like scrap yeah it does doesn't it <laughs> i bought a pile of scrap <laughs> and considering the clamp is scrap that side of it is scrap yeah we're not we're not far off like the wiring loom like is so i'm gonna have to sort this out so I was like, I'll get the front, I'll get the front done and then I'll get the back done. Yeah. The front might take a while, <laughs> but it'll be all right. It won't be that bad. I'm going to take the rest of it off, the wiper motor, everything bought with a bulkhead, the brake servo, all that stuff. So you'll just have a couple of hoses in the middle. Um, and then we have to get this swapped first. Yeah. Last step one. Then we can kind of build up the front end again then. Um, so yeah, it should be cool. But the, the parts are available. Yeah, yeah, so Dave, yeah, yeah, Dave at DTV Motorsports already sent me a box of stuff anyway. Some of it we can sort ourselves. So like all the rubber hoses and stuff like that, I'll just, you know, 
we would just go to the boys at Forge Motorsport, tell them what we need, we'll put silicon ones on. Um, the, there's a big long radiator hose that looks like it goes all the way through the car, this one. So I'll probably just buy a length of it and just pull it through and we'll do that. Um, yeah, some of the aircon hoses need doing. I'm gonna put new brake hoses on it because again, when you go to undo the swivels, they're just see solid. Uh, I got new ball joints. Well, wow, let's go. Let's go for it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at your box of goodies. Would you like to see inside my box? So, pair of tie rods. Oh, what else we got? Uh, bottom ball joint. You know, bottom ball joint. Uh, track rod end. Ah, he's such a legend. Sent me all the... All the suspension nuts and bolts. Uh, top ball joint, so what have we got? We should have one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yeah, so we should have eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, two of them. I don't know what them ones are. They must be shock mounts. And a spare bolt. That's alright. Happy days. Uh, I want to get the arm powder coated. Yep. So we have got eight new bushes. Two, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So they're just, he knows what they are, but they're Land Rover bushes. So that's fine. Uh, so we've got one of them, two of them. So we should have another track rod end. Another ball joint. Then we have got, got yeah. new hub. Wheel bearing kit and the bit we needed. Oh, Dave, no porn or sweets. No hurry boat. I know. Ugh. Leave him a Google review. <laughs> Here we go. Righty. Makes me want to change the other one now because it's billet. Yeah, I was thinking that. Mm. That's not going to work with your OCD, is it? Probably not, is it? That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, that goes in there. That goes in there. Mm. Lots of goodies, mate. It's good. I mean, it's not. It's just not rocket science. That's a good thing about it. It's not like you're stripping it apart and it's... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds or even thousands of pounds in parts like it would be on one of those. Yeah. You know. So, yeah, get the other side stripped down. I mean, the expensive bit is going to be the dampers. I think the Nitron R3s are what everyone seems to go for. And they're probably going to set me back about three grand. Okay. But they're fully adjustable, which is... What's the point in doing it? You may as well just go for a, a cheaper fixed damper if you're not going to fully adjust it all. So, uh, they're the collars that go with the... So, yeah. And you mentioned the brakes as well, so it's going to need new, new discs. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with the discs. I'm definitely going to send the calipers to Johnny. Yeah. And get Johnny to rebuild the calipers. So, once I've got the other side off, I'll get him to do that. I'll, probably put, I'll definitely put a new set of pads in it and I'll have a look how much meat we've got left on the disc, whether I can service the discs or yeah. I've got to get rid of them, but uh, buy some new ones. But I get a rack off, I get a servo out, I get a wash bottle off, heater box off, wiper motor, and then that corner strip, but I just need to order some new rubber blocks to hold it up. Um, so it doesn't destroy your nice floor. So it doesn't destroy my nice floor. Yeah, and then it can, I mean like the wiring looms, fuck the aircon, sorry. The um, 
Like, the air con's not great. So we'll just, you know, the radiator looks all right. Radiator looks salvageable. So I'll order some, I'll order the panel in. Uh, I'll find out what condenser I need. I need a new steering cooler. I don't need a new steering cooler, but it's knackered. I just put a new one on, like the fins are all bad. Um, I suppose while you're at it, when the car's in, in bits like this, it makes sense to do everything. Yeah, 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 I may as well do it. Like, like, can you see down inside that wiring plug? Yeah. So I'll just build, we'll just sort the wiring out. I'll put new wiring on it. I'll pretty much, re I can see myself rewiring it pretty much. Not completely, but probably bulkhead wise. Yep. I think that's an aerial, but that can go because I'm not having stereo in it. I'm gonna take stereo out. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't need an aerial. I get rid of all that. These bits will come off and we'll just get it all dressed up, dress it all back and then, like even, like can you see the, the crossover, like the state of them? Yeah. So we'll just dress, we'll just sort it all out, we'll just replace stuff. Like this, the posi drive screws are knackered everywhere you look. I don't like them anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's a lot of riv nuts. But so is this, this is how these were put together in the first yeah. place and obviously this one's had a bit of a hard life and it's been left yeah, outside. Yeah, it, it looks like it's just, like a, it, it just looks like bits that have been done, I mean, haven't been done it looks like it's been done at home. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't look like it's been done. Uh, some of this stuff doesn't look like it's been done how we would do it or yeah. how I would expect a workshop to do it. Um, so some of the bits are a bit like the shocks. They've just been like rattle can painted. Yeah. But they're knackered underneath rather than sending them off and getting them refurbed. You know, how much? Like the, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel horrible, but it just feels like there's a lot of slop in there. Yeah. So we just get it off, get it all dressed. Get, I'm going to take the rack out. I'm going to take the brake hoses off. And then, yeah, we'll just give everything a clean. I'll replace the floor because that floor's knackered. I don't know what the other floor's like. But, yeah, it's all right. We'll get there. But again, the plan with this, first thing, is get it, get it back together, get it up and running. Yeah. And then it's going to be get it out there and actually use it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, at the end of the day, the car is categoried. I don't know why, because it's not horrific. It must have just outbalanced itself. But I'll put this back together and it'll be, it'll be amazing. Yeah. When this is done, this will be amazing. So it's going to go on MoTeC. The engine's going to come out. All the things everybody wants to do, because, of course, essentially, it's not free, but labour's, it here doesn't cost doesn't cost me anything. If the guys are working on it, then obviously they've got their wage, yeah. but it's not like you wanting to do it. And I'm like, well, I've spent 10 hours stripping this so far. Yeah. You gotta pay me 10 hours. It doesn't work like that. So I can just, this is essentially just gonna cost me parts. Um, so I wanna, there's certain things I wanna do that I think will sort of pay respect to the car of how it should be. Um, even down to, I saw later ones have anti-roll bars and I was even umming and ahhing about retrofitting an anti-roll bar on it, but we'll see what's what. But okay, and just, I think in, in that sort of vein as well, if anybody's got any suggestions oh, tips, or, or yeah, comments, yeah, 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 yeah. Let us know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, Dave's brilliant. He messages me and he's like, right, you want this or I want that. And I just sent him a list and he just box turned up. The clams are on order. So we've got two genuine new clams come in. Because again, what I paid, for the car, if I spend 10 to 15 on it, it's still the cheapest one for sale. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. mine will be better than those. Yeah. So let's go for it, send it. You know, there's some bodywork bits that are gonna need doing, George's gonna need to do, but the, the leading edges take a bit of a pound in. Well, we can fix those. By the, time, by the time I've done the front, when I've cut the front bracket off, powder coated the arms, you know, swapped out all the tie rods, the track rod ends, cleaned everything, put it back together. You look at that and it'll look, it'll look like race car. Yeah. So, yeah. Happy days. It'll be good fun, won't it? So, have we seen it? Have we seen it with the back off? I think we have, haven't we? Yeah, but let's have another look. So, Yeah, like my idea, what I want to do now is there's an uprated inlet manifold. So I'll put it on uprated inlet manifold. I'll t I'm going to take the engine out. I'm going to re-powder coat the rockers. I'm going to put it, take it off wasted spark. 
and put it on stick on coils I'm going to put it on Motec uh, I'm going to change the manifolds I'm definitely going to change the manifolds because Dave said he's got those I'm definitely going to change the gear cartridge because he said that makes a world of difference yeah I'll take it out if it hasn't got a diff because I haven't had it in the air yet if it hasn't got a diff I'll put a diff in it I'm going to put it on drive by wire and get rid of the throttle pedal put like an, an R8 drive by wire pedal on the inside and then yeah just I just get it looking you know it's not it's not horrific but just needs a freshener yeah so we had it started and running i got to fix the alternator cable so if i fix the alternator cable quick then we'll run it up i'll get it on a ramp and, and we'll sort of run it up but again and then on the back end then i haven't got to do any structural stuff but we'll do the same on the back i'll pull the arms off i'll get the arms redone and just give everything a service yeah uh, and then yeah should be pretty tidy I mean, the intercooler is good, but I'll probably get aftermarket in the cooler for it. But that in that manifold, look at it, mate, it's shocking. It's like, bleh. yeah. So, yeah, just little things I've noticed, like it's got what they've done with the Lambda probes or, you know, little heat shieldy, little heat shieldy bits. So. But as you say, one step at a time. It is, let's get the yeah. front done. Yeah. You know the last things that will go on it are the power are the um the clams front and rear so i'm not worried about that but if i can get the front built done and then the back then we can lift the engine out um it doesn't look yeah like everything looks square doesn't it nothing looks bent looks right the back. yeah you know like this like that's like a really nice piece do you know what i mean so there's no point going crazy with that i just want to get rid of this yeah but knowing my luck now the new manifold and then when i want to change the throttle body i'll probably have to change this anyway so yeah. but it's all right again just needs a bit of a freshener a bit of a taken out clean um i'll put a new fuel pump on it it doesn't do up davy that could be a slight issue fixed it fixed it positive steps there you go you see car, mate. Uh, it's, the, it's the Matt Armstrong approach. Think yeah. positively. Yeah. Yeah, like this, look. Can you see in there? Like, not my bag, mate. Luca connectors or... Do you know what I mean? Just certain things are just a bit... Blech. So, Speedo drives down there, so that must be like reverse light switch. So, yeah, we just go... Oh, so, I know. We have got some T-shirts to give away. So, um we have or i have decided who it is so we'll comment and get them get them to message us for their details so that's quite cool so like one guy wrote a poem i think didn't he but um the last mobile video we had a little bit of uh, guys the new video only has about 30 seconds of new content you removed <laughs> one wheels and discovered the bleeding obvious <laughs> so that one comment of the day one day that video yeah, uh, here we go so scott bruce posted it so it was a, a noble quest, this renovation, to watch upon this YouTube station. RE Performance, Supermen, they make it sound like a V10. And whilst I do prefer a bike, I'll follow this and click on like. I think I'll give these vids a go to see repaired the GTO. So crack on lads, strip down the front and junk the bits that took a shunt. Then when that's done, you'll sort rear, so the car will drive and steer. Just like a new one, not a hack, for you to roast around a track. No rusty bolts or shack suspension, that Ming-in shock I had to mention. Some more subscriptions and comments made, along with likes will get you paid. The algorithms play their part, within YouTube it's a dark art. So keep on posting as you fix, and give us all a noble fix. I know the car will turn out nice, if you like the pros, send merchandise. <laughs> Mate, that is amazing! Honestly, that, that, that man, is so good. We need to get him involved again. I know, right, so Scott <laughs> Bruce, right? Mate, you've won. So you win the I think today. you actually get a hoodie and a t-shirt for that. I think so. Mate, that, but like I read it and I was like, oh my God, if you give me a month for Sundays, I'd never come up with something that good. <laughs> right, I'll see you, you better get busy. by the power of YouTube next week. <laughs> see you all later. <laughs>